La Lupita Tips and Tricks for Beginner Sewists Adding Small Sleeves For my pattern piece, I took a rectangle that was 10 inches long by 2.5 inches wide. Once you have your rectangle, fold it in half and use a curved ruler. I place it right towards the edge at about 1 and 3 eighths of an inch. Add the curved seam and then we're going to cut that right off. And this pattern is something that has worked for me, but if you need to increase the length or the width, it's all up to you and your personal preference. Now use that pattern piece to cut out four sleeves, and you also need two pieces of lightweight interfacing. Iron on the interfacing to the wrong sides of two sleeves. Sew the curved seam at 3 eighths of an inch or one centimeter. Clip the curved seams. Fold the right sides out and press in place. Repeat for the other sleeve. Now the bodice should have one side seam facing up and one down. Fold the sleeve in half and place it right along the shoulder seam to make sure that it's centered. Then pin it in place only on the outer part of the fabric, not the lining. And then you're going to add a basting stitch to hold it in place. Now you're going to follow the burrito method. So I'm just rolling the opposite side of the shoulder seam and putting right sides together of the outer bodice and the lining of the bodice. Tuck in all that excess fabric. Make sure that you don't accidentally pin it. And then you're going to pin it all the way from the shoulder seam to the edges. So I've already sewn at 3 eighths of an inch or 1 centimeter along that side seam. And then I'm clipping into the curved sides. From this point on, you'll want to make sure that you check the pattern instructions um, to add the ties before you pull anything out. Since I'll be skipping that step for this tutorial. After you've added the ties according to the pattern, then you'll flip out the entire side of the bodice through the shoulder seam. So after you've pulled out all of the fabric, then you're going to get your iron and press all of those seams really well. And you can also add some top stitching if you like too. And of course you're going to do all of these steps again for the opposite cuff so it's finished. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thank you for joining and happy sewing!